Yes, come on! Fucking get in! Hello everyone, welcome back to the Armchair Armory. It's finished at the Sinobo Stadium, Slavia Prague, nil, Arsenal 4. And uh, I'm over the moon. We did it. What were we worried about? What were we having a meltdown for? I don't know. But yeah, we did it. So we move into the semi-finals now to play Unai Emery's Villarreal. So it's the past ma past coach versus the new coach. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, it was a fantastic performance from start to finish. I mean, we were a little bit cagey in the first 10 minutes of the first half. It seemed like we were nervous trying to feel our way into the game. As soon as we started, we... we grabbed a foothold on it yeah it was pretty much one way traffic from start to finish they had a little bit of a spell in the second half first 10-15 minutes of the second half but they were never a threat to be honest in terms of the starting lineup, he picked pretty much the same team Granite Xhaka was at left back Saka played in the number 10 role the only change was Emil Smith Rowe came in for uh, Martinelli on the left and Lacazette remained instead of Aubameyang we actually found out a few moments before kickoff that Aubameyang had been diagnosed with malaria. So that's not great, obviously, and uh, wish him a speedy recovery. Hopefully we'll see him back fighting fit soon. Yeah, so I kind of knew he was going to go for the same lineup. I actually thought he'd stick with Martinelli. I didn't think he was going to bring Emil Smith-Rowe back in so quickly, but it turned out to be the right right thing to do. Like Everyone was immense today. Holding and Marie were, were, were really good. Um, Xhaka was really good again at left back. Chambers was good. Nothing got past Partey today. Ceballos was good. Yeah, like, you know, they, they were all so good. The performance was so good that I'm not even going to get do player ratings because I felt they were all equally incredible today. Uh, they should be very proud of the performance they put in. And congratulations to Mikel Arteta because I know he was on a, under a lot of pressure in this game. And he's managed to turn it around. So yeah, it's a, it's a good day to be an Arsenal fan. Uh, just to go through some of the events from the game. So um, once, we, as I said, once we got a foothold on the game, we had a ch chance, I think it was Saka that was through on goal. He took a shot. Slavia Prague keeper parried it back out. And Smith Rowe slotted it home for 1-0. He was offside, so that, that was disallowed. And at that point... I thought, oh yeah, this, is, this isn't this is going to be our night, is it? And um, I, I just said to myself, like under my breath, I just said, they just have to get on with it. Like, just rub it out. Yep, fair enough. We've It's it's offside, carry on. We've got to go again. And that's exactly what they did. An attack again from Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe was outstanding in this move. The little pass that he did through the legs of the defender that got through to Pepe and Pepe just lifted it over the Slavia Prague keeper, for 1-0. Then a couple of minutes later, um, Saka was through on goal. He was taken down. Penalty to Arsenal. Laka converted. Great penalty, 2-0. Uh, and then shortly after that, just before the half-hour mark, Saka's through on goal, goal again. Takes the shot himself, 3-0. Um, and we're 3-0 up in the first half an hour. Now, even at this point, I was still thinking, this, <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. This could be a reverse of West Ham, where we are the dominant team and are 3-0 up within the first 30 minutes. And then in the second half, they come back and draw 3-3. But at that point, they needed to win the game. They needed to beat us 4-3 to go through, basically. Yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a tense moment because I thought to myself, we always have it in us to mess it up. We're not very good with game management. And that's the main thing that I was worried about going into the second half. I was like, are we going to be able to manage this? Are we going to concede two goals really late and then have a nervy last heart, last part of the second half? But no, we didn't. We managed the game really, really well. Arteta made some decent substitutions to keep it uh, deadlocked. They didn't offer that much for it, to be honest. Like I said at the beginning, like two, 20, 15, 20 minutes of the second half, they were, you know, on us quite a lot. But they're, they're just so poor that, like, you know, they they didn't really offer up anything and we're the first team to beat them at home I think since November 2019 which is also a, a great thing second half was pretty much game management we did a really good job and we just got a, a goal at the end through 
a composed finish from La- from Lacazette. So we finished the game 4-0, 5-1 on aggregate. And we move on to a semi-final, as I mentioned at the beginning, with Villarreal managed by Unai Emery. <laughs> oh, God. That's going to really bring out the Arteta in-out debate, isn't it? <laughs> with, with facing the old coach, especially if he knocks, if Villarreal knock us out. And if we get past Villarreal, uh, it, there is a very strong chance that we might play Manchester United in the final, which I wouldn't look forward to. I'd be more confident being able to beat Roma or Ajax than Manchester United, to be honest, just because in the two games we played against them this season, we've won and drawn. And yeah, it probably, it, by the law of averages, by Sod's law, it probably means the next time we play them, we're going to lose. And I'd prefer it not to be in a Europa League final. But yeah, fantastic performance. Not much more I can say, really. Let's carry on with this momentum. Let's try and win this tournament. We have to now. We have to try and win this tournament, or at least get to the final. Yeah, Fulham at the weekend. And that's that's the main objective in the league, is just to try and finish as high as possible. So yeah, that's it. As I said, I'm not going to do any player ratings today because they were all. It, it was a fan, fantastic team performance, and no individual stood out for me. They were all great, even the substitutions. Anyway, I will speak to you guys again for the preview of the Fulham game. But until then, take care, stay safe. This is Deepai signing out.